Well, I'm just happy that I've got the great man, Scott Roth, because he has been stopped more times than anybody else on this concourse. You were just telling me a long time ago, it was just one stadium. Summer League's grown tremendously. Yeah, I mean, this has turned the novice to a PR machine, and rightfully so, and it's great for the fans, really, to be this close and now how this has grown over the last five or six years into all these buildings and the access that people get here has been amazing. You know, I remember playing back in the day in Long Beach when it was the Summer League and now it's moved to here and doing this as a coach and coaching these games as, uh, with the NBA and now coming here and scouting and seeing it, so this has turned into an amazing event. Now this time you're here, it's different. You mentioned scouting. You're not doing any of that here. You're just having a bit of fun. Yeah, I just came in with my daughter. Um, we're just on our way back to Tassie, basically in the next three days. I came in to see Jar Chivers, our general manager and CEO. Uh, have lunch and uh, shoot the breeze with a few people, and we're flying out here in a few hours. Talk to us a little bit how the rosters come together in the off season. So, some key signings, probably none more important than Milton Doyle, and he's coming back to be a jack jumper. Yeah, you know, Milt was obviously the key for us when the season was over with, and we felt very good about where we were with him all along, and basically had a deal done for quite some time with him and to have him for two years I think is going to be um, exciting and that was kind of the building block of what we wanted to put around him. Uh, we have an exciting player in Crawford I think that people are going to fall in love with just uh, how dynamic he is and then Marcus Lee has proven himself to be a really good shot blocker and a rim runner and um, I'm happy with the squad you know we'll get picked 10th again and and uh, we'll do what we have to do and if we finish there we do if we don't uh, we're all good. I'm not making that mistake three years in a row I'll tell you that much but talk to me a little bit about the changes in terms of the bench as well not as many changes last year yeah. what do you got in mind in preseason to get everybody into that Tassie culture? Well I think the thing that we tried to do this year was to get some um, expand our shooting and get a little more athletic and a little more size so uh, bring in Majuk Dang gives us size and shooting uh, Dermot gives us another shooter um, Junior uh, Maduk gives us another Another guy that has some athletic ability and speed and can shoot the ball and so uh, we're trying to open the floor up a little bit more especially for Crawford and Milt to have some room and then have someone like Lee and Magne rolling down the lane so I think we have a, a dynamic roster Jack McVeigh is in great form and had a great time in Germany and um, I work excited to get back to work and see where it all ends and we're excited. We're in Vegas right now Tasmania a few similarities about these two places together there is. <laughs> well, do, you, do, you, do you like your time in Vegas? No, uh, I, I, you know, this is one of those places for me that come in for a day or two, people watch and get out. I don't like to gamble or do anything else. If I can smoke a cigar at my local spot around the corner, that's my number one stop. Uh, and then just to have some time with my daughter before I head back to over. Family coming down again to Tasmania Absolutely. this year? Absolutely. My daughter will be coming in soon, and then my wife will be with me, obviously, the rest of the season. So we're excited to get back, and uh, I've had a great two and a half, week, two and a half months off, and I'm re-energized. It's nice to be back on a normal schedule, actually. Last year seemed just like a rush for everything. The season, uh, the break, and now to have really a restful period for me has been hugely important. This meant for me mentally and um, to be able to be back here, and I'm ready to go. Yeah, let me, lastly there, your roster has been finalized for some, for yeah, some time. And yeah, so how's it like going into an off season now, knowing you've got more time to get everybody on the same page? Yeah, I think, you know, we start a mini camp next week when I get back. And so we're starting to get our locals through there and start that. I'm a big believer in getting this thing done well before you get here. Uh, that's just um, my thoughts on how I like to do it. And I like to have things well in hand before you get to this venue, uh, because I think here it can get a little carried away with a lot of things that are happening here. And I think it also brings comfort to our team to know who's on the roster and start to formulate what we want to do offensively and defensively. For the end of the NBL 24 season, promise me that I don't miss out on a cigar with Scott Roth this year. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll do at the Blitz. I'll have multiple cigars. I just need a few people to get them into the country for yeah, me. There we go. We're ready to roll. Thank you, Coach. <laughs> you got it.